<coughs> Hello again folks, welcome back to the next episode of Joxa playing Skyrim, the Argonian Mage. In the previous episode we closed down the rift near Riften and we went off to the Temple of Mara because um Blessings of Mara. Need something? I I, I was so sure. Can you tell Mara's me? Mara's domain encompasses the emotions we strive the most to embrace. Love, compassion, and understanding. I have lots of it's love. It's difficult to appreciate her gifts in these dark times. But you should consider her light a beacon in the storm. Uh, do you accept charity? Of course. I'd be more than happy to add a donation to our charity box. Right now, the best you could provide is coin. We need all the help we can get. Ah, uh, here you go. Thank five gold. I can promise you that this will be put to good use. Of course. Wonderful. Where to begin? Mara is the goddess of love. The temple spreads her gifts by tending to the sick, the poor, and the lost. Okay. We also perform wedding ceremonies for all the loving couples in Skyrim. Doll. I could have a wedding at the temple. Yes, if you were ready, of course. Are you familiar with how marriage works in Skyrim? No. Typically, love in Skyrim is as earnest as the people who live here. Life is hard and short. So there's little room for long courtship. A person who is looking for a spouse simply wears an amulet of Mara about the neck, showing they are available. When another person shows interest and the two agree to be together, one of them comes to the temple and we arrange a ceremony. Okay. Wow, 200 gold. Here you okay. are. Now, remember, people <coughs> in Skyrim respond to deeds. You'll find more people interested in your love if you help them. Okay. Good luck. Mara bless you. Thank you. Um may you return to may, 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 maybe it's her. What is it you seek, my child? Uh, which of the eight divines do you serve? Mara you devoted to the goddess Mara, who gave mortals the gift of love that they might have a hint of eternity. Her blessings are many. To love is to know the true nature of the gods. Oh may I receive her blessing? Not all <coughs> can hear the broad echoes of deepest dawn. To receive the touch of Mara, you must first act as her hands in the world. Explore the facets of the infinite jewel. Are you prepared, then, to help bring the light across this land? Um, just tell me what to do. The dawn surely opens upon you, child. You must bear its light that all may see. Mara has reflected an image to me. At the foot of the throat and the young woman, almost a girl. Her fickle love must resolve itself. The village of Iverstead. The woman, Fastred. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. Return when she has seen her path. Okay. I will entreat Mara on your behalf. There you go, folks. Now, if you're wondering what this quest actually involves, <coughs> it involves playing matchmaker. Ooh, right, 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 right. There we go. Um, it, 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 it basically involves playing matchmaker. But not only that, you <coughs> actually get something out of it. Protect yourself right. Buy armor from Ooh, lots and lots of merchants. Um, the fun part here is that if you play matchmaker for uh, this whole quest chain, you get a amazing uh, boon put upon yourself by the goddess of Mara or something like that, which is a 10% resist to magic. That is pretty awesome. <coughs> I've also been thinking about maybe doing a, uh, uh, a, a, a let's play of Skyrim on site besides uh, uh, Kasha and not gonna be too serious with it. I'm uh, not gonna be playing it like full time like I'm playing this one uh, just just to muck around with. I'm sure those of you who added me to the Steam have seen me like hop on and off and on and off when I just mess about and the idea of that let's play will be to uh, basically how to break Skyrim. <coughs> um, where basically I will do everything and anything to basically play on master mode and abuse every game mechanic there is to pull myself up a hat. 
Uh, I don't know, it, it, it's just something I've been playing with. Um, I know a few folks who I've been asking for help. You, Some of you guys have IM'd me or left comments or whatever. And uh, I can see, you know, something like that be useful. You know, something to get, an, uh, get, a, get a little uh, edge on Skyrim, so to speak. I'm still thinking about it though. There's there's a lot of things I want to do. Uh, later this week we will... Oh dear god, another set. Okay, anyways. Yeah, they're dead. Music can stop now, thank you. Okay. Uh, as I was trying to say, <coughs> the uh, uh, later this week we will be having. <sighs> Caddy, just shut it. Okay. So later this week we'll be having SimCity, and I'm planning to. Uh, play it as well because you know I've always been a little bit of a fan of the SimCity franchise. Still remember uh, sitting at my dinky little uh, DOS computer playing SimCity so that should be interesting. Uh, same with Civilization. Uh, I know it, it might be a complete uh, uh, surprise but I'm a big fan of those games Civilization and SimCity. <coughs> it's, uh, the strategy behind those. Just dumping my stuff. Stuff of lightning bolts, nice. There we go. Wonder if they actually can come with me. <coughs> Space spheres. Haha. <coughs> I also can't wait to uh, head over to Dragonborn, uh, or at least Soul's time. Because I've been toying around with uh, for a while now to get a certain mod, which just is so awesome. Um, if any of you are just looking for something fun and, uh, you know, something to haul even more loot, take a look at, uh, what was it called again? The Pack Shriekling, or Pack Shriekling, or something along those lines. And it adds this little dude. With a gigantic pouch on his back. Um, who actually can come with you. And the best part. He is not counted as a follower. He actually goes in the uh, companion slot. Like the animal companion slot for dog or something. And he actually uses that slot. And uh, he can haul loot. And uh, he has a little spear. And it's just awesome. <coughs> I haven't tried it out myself. I haven't been to source time at all. Uh, because I want to go in there blind. Uh, I haven't watched any videos either, which normally I do. Um, okay. I'm in. And same goes for Adongard. I uh, avoided all videos uh, of Let's Plays that I follow and stuff like that. Hey! Now that the Dawn Guard are back. The vampire's reign of terror is about to end. Damn straight. Um, just so I can go in the blind and you guys can, you know, enjoy my reactions or whatever. Uh, I, I like things to be a surprise for me. It, it just plays more natural and... Uh, well, you saw how I reacted with uh, uh, Castle Vol, Hikar, etc. <coughs> it, it, it's more fun. <coughs> Come on. While I'm here, 
Whoa, I'm hearing a lot of uh Alright, you Scott. You've got this all to you. Now what do you want? Hold it right there. Uh, what are you doing? Making sure you're not vampires. Can't be too careful. Whoa. So welcome to Fort Dawnguard. If you're getting along with these ones. I'm sure you've heard a bit of what we're up against. To. Powerful vampires. Unlike anything <coughs> you've seen before. And they have an Elder Scroll. I really miss my if anyone is going to stand in their way, the shower it's going would to be always nice. make me time proud. This is all well and good, but do we actually know anything about what they're doing? What do we do now? We'll get to that. For now, get acquainted with the space. Soreen, you'll find room to start your tinkering on that crossbow design you've been working on. Gunmar, there's an area large enough for you to pen up. I like what Eastron has done with the why are people talking? We're going to get to the bottom of why a vampire showed up here looking for you. Let's go have a little chat with the shall we? With what? I assume a vampire? appreciate all the horrible things that can happen to you if you're not being Okay, so I missed most of what Isron said because one, Carrie couldn't keep her mouth shut and two, Soreen couldn't stop talking to me. Ah! That just pisses me off. Follow Isran, okay. Well um I think we have a better chance of surviving here, don't you? Where is Isran then? I'm confused. What am I supposed to do? Okay, he's on the second floor. There's a stairway. Hope you guys don't mind me casting uh, uh, illusion every now and then. Like I said, I'm 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 really wanting to get my skills up. And I mean, it, it makes sense for a uh, mage or a wizard to, you know train their spells by casting them. Nope. Still an Argonian. Need something. No, there's nothing I need. I, I, I actually I need to go see uh, Isran. <sighs> I don't know how to get there, folks. Giving it a few more, and then I'm uh, probably just gonna go and uh, pass the footage while I try to figure out how to get there. Okay folks, I'm gonna go and pass the footage and figure out how I finally can get to Isran because I think I'm just completely missing the p uh, missing how to get there. Actually, I'm being a derp. I'm being a derp. There we go. Islan, it's... Oh, dude. No, not Serana, man. This vampire showed up while you were away. <sighs> I'm guessing it's the one you found in Dim Hollow Crypt. Says it's got something really important to say to you. So let's hear it. No, don't, don't do anything to Serana. She's good, I think. You probably weren't expecting to see me again. Uh, what are you doing here? I'd rather not be here either, but I needed to talk to you. Okay. It's important, so please just listen before your friend here loses his patience. Okay. It's, well, it's about me and the Elder Scroll that was buried with me. Okay. Um, what about you? Because her father was very specific in being more interested in the scroll, and I'm more interested in her. 
The reason I was down there, and why I had the Elder Scroll. It all comes back to my father. Okay. I'm guessing you figured this part out already, but my father's not exactly a good person, even by vampire standards. He wasn't always like that, though. There was... a turn. He stumbled onto this obscure prophecy and just kind of lost himself in it. Um, what sort of prophecy? It's pointless and vague, like all prophecies. The part he latched onto said that vampires would no longer need to fear the sun. That's what he's after. He wants to control the sun. Have vampires control the world. Anyway, my mother and I didn't feel like inviting a war with all of Tamriel, so we tried to stop him. No kidding. That's why I was sealed away with the scroll. Uh, so what's all this have to do with the Dawn Guards? You took a big risk coming here, you know that? I did. But something about you makes me think I can trust you. I hope I'm not wrong. No. We just have to convince the others you're on our side. Well, let's move then. I'm nothing if not persuasive. Okay. Isran, buddy. I, I know you are a hater. But... Come on now. Alright, you've heard what it has to say. Now tell me. Is there any reason I shouldn't kill this blood-sucking fiend right now? God, dude. Um, set your hatred to the side and try to see the larger picture, dude. Set my hatred aside? Not a chance. It's what keeps me strong. You don't trust her? Fine. Trust me, I believe her. You better know what you're doing. It can stay for now. But if it so much as lays a finger on anyone here, I'll hold you responsible. Sure thing. You got it. You hear me? Don't feel like a guest because you're not. You're a resource. You're an asset. In the meantime, don't make me regret my sudden outburst of tolerance and generosity. Because if you do, your friend here is going to pay for it. Thank you for your kindness. I'll remember it the next time I'm feeling. <laughs> oh, snap! So, in case you didn't notice the giant thing on my back, I have the Elder Scroll with me. I did notice that. Whatever it says, it will have something that can help us stop my father. Okay. But, of course, neither of us can read it. Uh, actually, I can read it. Well, the moth priests are the Whatever. only ones I've heard of who can do it. They spend years preparing before they start reading, though. Not that it helps us anyway, because they're all half a continent away. In Cyrodiil. Some Imperial scholar arrived in Skyrim a few days ago. I was staking out the road when I saw him pass by. Maybe that's your moth priest. Do you know where he's staying now? No. And I'm not going to waste men looking. We're fighting a war against your kind. And I intend to win it. You want to find him? Try talking to anyone who'd meet a trapper. Innkeeper. Carriage drivers in the big cities, maybe. But you're on your own. Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Um, where would I? I'm, I'm tempted to say like he, he would go to the mage college, like my mage college. Um, where would he go? Do you have any ideas? Well, back before I, you know, the College of Winterhold was the first place I'd think to go for any kind of magic or historical thing. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. I... Well, I'd come with you, but I don't know if I can trust your friend. Let me know if you want me along. I know you'd come to this one day. Ah... <sighs> okay, folks. No one this, 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 this is the end of the episode. Um, so I will be right back. <laughs>